are now 155 days into a special year dedicated to St. Joseph, declared last year, last December, by Pope Francis. The Holy Father's announcement comes 150 years after Pope Pius IX declared St. Joseph the patron of the Universal Church. Correspondent Mark Irons tells us more about the growing devotion to Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, we consecrate our Diocese of St. Petersburg, from Florida to California, Catholic communities around the country are calling on the guidance and intercession of St. Joseph. And so it's so important that we turn to him because he wants to help us. This past weekend on the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, the Diocese of St. Petersburg, Florida consecrated parishes, schools, ministries, and the people of the diocese to St. Joseph. Saint father Joseph Ralph D'Elia says you can place right trust in the earthly father of Jesus. He wants to help us in the same way our family does, in the same way our friends do. And so when we turn to him and we seek his intercession, he leads us to Christ. Last December on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, Pope Francis officially announced the following 365 days would make up a year of St. Joseph. In an apostolic letter, he wrote, Each of us can discover in Joseph the man who goes unnoticed, a daily, discreet, and hidden presence, an intercessor, a support, and a guide in times of trouble. A lot of amazing, amazing witness he gives to Christ, to following Christ. Daniel Campbell teaches at St. John Vianney Theological Seminary in Denver. He says the difficult decisions Joseph made in Scripture leading Mary and Jesus show complete trust in God and provide proof of a strong prayer life. So you don't ever actually read of him sitting down to pray, but it's the inference you can make that the only way you could respond with such absolute simple trust and absolute simple humility is if you are constantly keeping the presence of God and constantly in conversation with Him. In honor of this special year, Campbell will teach an online summer class focused on St. Joseph. It's open to people around the world. Bottom line, I just hope people love St. Joseph and really take him as a patron. And many Catholics, including student members of the Knights of Columbus at the University of Notre Dame, are entrusting themselves to St. Joseph's care this year by making a 33-day consecration. It involves short readings and prayers. He's like the epitome of a strong Catholic man. Twelve months prior to Pope Francis declaring this a year of St. Joseph, the Diocese of Charlotte had announced its own special year in honor of the foster father of Jesus. We asked Monsignor Patrick Winslow, the Vicar General and Chancellor of the Diocese, about the impact of the saint's intercession. I think that the fruits that we experience are our growth. Uh, we've been experiencing tremendous amount of growth since the founding of our diocese. What would you say to other dioceses that are considering consecrating themselves to St. Joseph? Well, I would say that he's a good friend in heaven to have on your side. Uh, certainly he is for the universal church, uh, but invoking him on a local level will always be to your benefit. Since becoming prior of the Dominican House of Studies in Washington, D.C. four years ago, Father Aquinas Gilbo says his devotion to St. Joseph has increased. And having to run uh, a community and a religious community, one focused on the Lord, uh, also a community dedicated to Our Lady, my thoughts uh, just went naturally to St. Joseph, like, how do I do this, <laughs> you know? Father Gilbo prays each morning in a small chapel dedicated to Joseph. He says we can rely on the saint just as Christ did as a child in Joseph's care. He himself goes to Joseph. <laughs> he places his infant self you know, under, under Joseph's protection. Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.